Trauma. from okay. our experience is the trauma that they're experiencing is more than just the loss of the puppy. That's a trauma trained leader in Knox County Schools. She's one of hundreds across the state changing the way teachers respond to childhood trauma and for good reason. Research shows more than two thirds of children report at least one traumatic event by age 16. 10 News reporter Gabrielle Hayes introduces us to local teachers pushing for change. Melissa Buck spent 36 years teaching kindergarten and first grade. Just to see them blossom into being I can do kids, that's, that's a good feeling. But she'd soon discover some of our littlest learners faced some of life's biggest challenges. Um, they would, children would come in and cower and you know, just little things like you'd go, you'd go to fix somebody's hair and they would pull back because of the physical violence that they had seen in the home. How old was that kid? Six. That first grader wasn't the first, and they wouldn't be the last. There was always one child, two children, three children as time went on that had severe trauma at home. Educators say the study of childhood trauma is ongoing, but the results are rather startling. It can happen to anyone. It could have happened to anyone. Jordan Whaley is a trauma therapist for Anderson County Schools and says no matter how old you are, surviving struggle is hard. They're being asked to kind of cope with something in life they don't have those skills to cope with. Learning what those skills are is now a national effort. So what can that look like? The CDC says it could be anything from child abuse and neglect to divorce and substance abuse in the home. It's something East Tennessee educators are trying to help. Over at Dogwood Elementary, the entire staff is trained in trauma. Close to probably 100 people. And it's not just the teachers. We even trained our um, security officer and our office staff. The training is part of a statewide program, and Samford says it was important to launch because children aren't immune to adversity. You know, we are talking about the homelessness, we are talking about poverty, we are talking about abuse and various types of abuse and even that secondary trauma, watching a parent go through their trauma and how they're dealing with it or not having the support. Dogwood is now considered a trauma-informed school, but a part of that story is making sure teachers know their feelings matter too. You know, it's when they walk out the door, it, they don't cut it off. And so we have to be mindful of that. And it all stems from loving what they do. We love our kids. It's that passion, Samford says, that could end up being life-changing for young people. And sometimes that's all it takes. It takes that one adult to make a big impact. So. As the world learns more about childhood adversity, educators say they will continue to do the work because every student deserves a chance at life, love, and learning. And we are just trying to make sure that they understand that we love them and we want Dogwood to be that safe space. If you would like to share your story about how a teacher inspired you, head to our Facebook page and add your experience to the comments under this story.